Hi, you're welcome back to Language Place and it's another lesson, Les Sentiments. Nous allons apprendre Les Sentiments aujourd'hui. Les Sentiments, your feelings. We're going to be learning about your feelings today. Okay, so, I hope you remember your verbs, your auxiliary verbs, the verbs être and the verbs avoir, okay? The verb être and the verb avoir. So we have avoir, to have, être, to be, okay? And underneath the verb être, we have je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Okay? So, the verb avoir, we have j'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Okay, you're going to be needing these two a lot during this class. Okay, so, les sentiments. Être content. Être content. Okay, it means to be happy. This E in brackets shows femininity. So, content is an adjective. Okay, and masculine and feminine. So, say a man when he's speaking will say, Je suis content. Je suis content. But if I, as a female, were going to say I am happy, I would say Je suis content. Je suis content. Je suis content. I am happy. Être triste. Triste already has an E in the masculine, so it doesn't change in the feminine, okay? So you can say, il est triste, elle est triste. Être fâché, to be angry. Être fâché, to be angry. Fâché without the second E, stopping here is masculine. And when there is a double E, it is feminine. Okay. Être fâché. Elle est fâchée. Il est fâché. Ouh la la. Il est fâché. Okay. And être navré. To be distressed. Okay. Something's wrong. I'm just not happy about what's going on. Oh. Mais je suis navré. Uh, distressed. Okay, masculine, and of course, you know, the E in bracket shows femininity. Now, when you want to say, I am hungry, do not do a transliteration. Don't say, je suis faim. Uh -uh. It's a fixed expression, and it is, j'ai faim. J'ai faim. It's a fixed expression. J'ai faim. So, you say, j'ai faim. If you want to say, he's hungry. Il a faim. Okay? So, avoir soif. To, so hungry and thirsty, take the avoir. Avoir soif says, I, uh, uh, to be thirsty. Okay? So, uh, nous avons soif. We are thirsty. Not nous sommes soif. Please avoid transliteration. I said that before. Okay, so avoir peur. Avoir peur. To be afraid. To be afraid. Le bébé a peur. Le bébé a peur. Let me write that down. Le bébé a peur. Le bébé a peur. Okay? The baby is afraid.
afraid, okay? Et épuisé. To be exhausted. Et épuisé. To be exhausted. So, um, et fatigué is to be tired. Épuisé is the um, superlative expression of fatigué, okay? Exhausted is much more tired than tired, okay? So, um, et fatigué, et épuisé. Fatigué means to be tired. Épuisé means to be exhausted, okay? Et affamé, to be famished. Famished, so terribly hungry. J'ai affamé, okay? So, sorry, je suis affamé, is et. Now, to say I am hungry, you say j'ai faim. To say I am very hungry, it is je suis affamé. Okay? Je suis affamé. And these are some of the um, expressions we have in French. So, let's see. If I would say he is angry in French based on what we've learned I know you already know to be angry is et fâché so if your sentence goes something like this il est fâché you would be very Correct. Il est fâché. You would be very correct. We just want e and an accent aigu. Okay. If you're going to say uh, nous sommes, okay, we are sad. I want us talking plural now. If you're going to say we are sad you would be talking in plural and i told you that adjectives agree in gender and number so you will be saying your sentence will look something like this no some triste with an s no some priests okay we are sad why? Tris takes plurality because the pronoun, okay, is nu, which is a plural pronoun. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed value today. Thank you for coming to class and please practice on your feelings, your sentiments, okay? Oh, je suis contente. Je suis triste. Je suis fâché. Je suis navré. Oh, J'ai peur. Okay, practice these feelings in French and you will become a pro at expressing how you feel. Merci beaucoup de m'avoir écouté. C'est la fin de la classe. On se verra plus. À bientôt.